I have forgotten the sight of our actual objective here. Get that dynasty up. So that's what we're going to focus on going forward until, of course, I forget again what this was about. Uh, we need a lot of lustful... A lot of lustful people and we need to switch our focus to probably seduction or family. Family might actually work with all the extra wives we got. That might actually work. I wonder if dead members count. But I have a feeling they might. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look for lustful and nothing else. Lustful and maybe uh, fortune builders upwards. So we're in a pretty good position anyway. Why can't we change this again? Uh, another four years. So we have four years left to do something else. Lovely. That's some conversion there. Um, what is this? The soldiers want more money. Okay. So, of course, the man should be rewarded generously. Decrease the payment factor of the Barutian band by two percent. Ah, uh, I'm confused. Are these bonuses? The uh, what? Okay. Oh. Okay, I see. I see. Okay. So, I am getting currently. 15% of what this Bayrutian band earns. Okay, I get it. I can either lower it to 13 or 14%. Since we're pretty much flush with cash, they can have the money and maybe we become charitable. We, we have not, but... Well, there was this option for a moment. And... Someone... One against China. That's okay, that's good, that's not bad. Wait, what? What religion are you? <gasps> Christians! I knew it! Okay. Peasants, order, mm, suggest, travel far. Yeah, let's build some local shrines. I said we got that. Money, we will see the world, our world prosper. And we will keep continuing to build up our castles, specifically the Kasba towns. Even though I said we're going to build everything once. Sunni Imams are constantly pestering, I uh, promise. Uh, uh, uh. Who's that? My friend. Let's ask our friend to help. Sure, why not? I'm certain some event is going to show me why not in just a moment. But we will deal with it when it comes to that. But we're still upgrading here. Honestly, with all the building work we're doing. Uh huh. Um, we should probably, instead of collect extra tax, support the building of the buildings. This local build time modifier minus 42%. That's, that's not bad. Um. Bey Sadiq told me he had great advice for me how to stop the Sunni Imams pestering me and got my undivided attention. The problem though was that a static wanted payment for his advice. Yeah, sure. Let's let's give him money. Him. Okay. Look at that. This is quickly turning into 
a simulation of the current situation. Okay. So we get some piety, but we lose money. We're in a permanent one learning. That's not ideal. But what can you do? Speaking of what can you do, let's check who we can go to war with. Man has let himself go a little bit, it looks like. Ah, we are no longer in a non-aggression pack. I think... How big are you? 14k. How big are we? 27k. Yeah. Let us... Who are you at war with? And who could I join a war with? Yeah. A bunch of wars. Okay. I think... I... Cannot actually turn them into tributaries why some du jour claims down there one up here from my spy master who doesn't like us very well so if we press that he would like us probably a little bit better or we could go for the whole of Oman down there. It's a little bit disjointed, isn't it? I think we should look south and build ourselves some tributaries down here. They have a few. How much troops do you have? Not a lot. So, how many? Okay, yeah, that's nothing. And that's another whole lot of nothing. What else can we do to you? Because of this, a few conquests. How much piety do we have? A lot. Alright. Um, non aggression pack. This boy. 12,000. I mean, we could do a bunch of holy wars, and there's not a lot of Christian around that would help him. Invasion of Armenia does not work out for us. But we could go in a holy war for Armenia. Baghdad. Oh, they have this. One thing. Huh. Damia, Oman is down here. Another piece of Oman. Okay. You want to attack them? I think actually getting them as a tributary state would be kind of nice. That way we can slowly but surely work through the Abbasid. Why can't we do the invasion? Let's see. Piety. We're lacking piety. Let's build ourselves a tributary state, shall we? That looks like a good idea. Um, plus that gives us a whole lot of prestige and maybe we come up to build ourselves an empire. So, war it is again. We'll raise our own armies at the very turn of things so if anything should go south which is very unlikely we will go and uh, deal with that then we'll have a southern army we will bring our retinues I think and we will have two northern armies they're just kind of liberally liberally taken from around here and these guys join the southern army in like 15 years. This is really the, the best piece of of our holdings that we have. Right, so let's um let's give our troops some time to 
come together in perfect harmony. So we'll take this, get some points, we'll take this, and join this army up there at some point then. This will be the bigger army, this will be the smaller army. There's already a lot of troops moving. Let's let's take another little stack out of here. Reroute them. It's not ideal what I'm doing, mind you. I am setting myself up for a little bit of failure here. Because they have, while less troops than I, quite the sizable amount of troops. So we will need to ensure... Actually, we need to ensure where are all our... Commanders. Impaler, which is really good. Moral damage and everything. That's a good trait to have in a commander. Get him. Where are all our military leaders? They're probably leading something somewhere. He needs to lead center. He needs flank. And this guy needs... And then we have this one dude. This guy who will lead the whole southern army. That is his job. We'll start sieging here. And quickly work towards uh, our way towards the capital. That is where the most capital gains are to be made. Yes, that is where that comes from. Capital gains. Okay, we're going to divert a few more troops north because we've found a blob of his here. Okay, this army is ready to go. Well, let's take the let's take the island first. Oh, dangerous faction. Let's see how we deal with it. My vassal. How many people do we get in this? Quite a few, so we should be able to deal with them like that, but it will take some time. So who are you? And why do you hate us so? He's ambitious, was the Sultanate of Arabia. Which he cannot have, because we're not an empire yet. So let's see what we can do. Can we give him a gift? Yes, but that won't help us much. So we will just have to build up here. Continue building up. And make ourselves stronger. Faster. Better. More efficient. Have some soup kitchens up in here. Eating into our profits. But with, um, with all the potential... Mercenaries that we can hire. I think we should be fine. Fill this pool. Is there maybe even known plot on one of these? This man? Mirza. B. Known plots. Does not look like it, no. So we can't join anything here. These two... ...are threatening around. Can I revoke his title now? Yeah.
can just revoke his uh, duchy title. Uh, no, we can't. Because we're not allowed to revoke titles in our realm. I feel it's a bit of an oversight. Which we'll have to wait to rectify. Oh well. Ah, how to build a well has been added to our treasury. So, we have finished our book. Let's see what the book does for us. How to build a well. Build time, minus 20%. It's not what I was going for. But that could have been worse. Can't we wear this too? Yeah. Can't equip. The artifact is inactive. Why is that? Oh, because I don't have any of these traits that are required to... I see. Okay, that's not bad. 20% plus what our... Um, what our Chancellor is doing here. 40 mom. Are you still converting something that needs no converting anymore? Uh, let's check real quick. Yeah, needs no more converting. So we'll keep converting our own lands. Check real quick here. My lord. I would give him a nickname. What are you good at, my friend? You're a bit ugly, but you're good at sieges. Why are you not a commander of ours? Ah, oh, the handsome would be kind of cruel, wouldn't it? Club-footed and ugly. Festive. I mean, yeah, let's let's give him festive. He, he deserves something good, our dear friend. Unfortunate soul. Okay. Things are being built quickly now. Where was that thing built? In Scandalon. Somewhere north, probably. I don't want to upgrade my non-core too much. We just want to see that the Kasba towns are all up because they give us direct money. That is really what we're going to go for. And these are all up as far as they go. But our core. That'll be built up. Ooh, look at that. Level 4 hospital. 40% resistance to disease. Major protection against depopulation. That is amazing. That is good. We're doing well here. Speaking of doing well, you can see the direct difference between a siege commander and a non-siege commander by uh, this guy has done nothing so far and this guy has already taken to uh, one castle and a city. Well, that's quite the difference here. Once this is taken fully, we will move both our armies directly to the capital. Um, nope. Woman, you don't decide my counselors. I think I need to send my spy master to help this uh, plot along. Let's check real quick if we can't put people here that kind of have an actual claim to it and are also fairly decent. I mean, he's not as decent, but he loves us. How many strong vassals do we have that need a job? Only that guy that we're trying to kill. Let's put this boy here. And also go do this. How much do we get? 32%. It's still okay. 
Five miles is fine. We have a marshal. No. Only this guy. Only this Christian fool who wants to be on the council. Okay, the dangerous faction is also gone. Interestingly enough. In sieging, always concentrate on capitals of things. That's usually a lot more worthwhile in terms of points gained towards the goals you try to achieve. All right. So first we want to bring our armies together. So we're going to do that. Oh, cool. Okay, that guy wants me to give him money to keep his mouth shut. Fine. There's a lot of people who just learned I'm trying to kill that boy. And they expect money from me. Fine. Fine by me. Someone is fighting the hospitalers and being kind of obliterated, it looks like. Might be one of my vassals there. Lex a focus. Oh, yeah. There we go. I did not see that, so that's bad for us. That's quite bad. Might not win this. He doesn't have any commanders on his flanks. We do have the bonus here. We don't have a... F oh, no. We don't have any commanders on our flanks. That's bad. That's real bad. We do have the defense bonus, which is good. But probably not enough. So maybe they can hold out until our second army arrives. This is why you don't let troops wander around without watching them in a war where you don't see things. But it might just work out. Might just work out in the end. It's even working out without the troops. That is fantastic. They already won. Wow. Okay, military positioning sometimes can really decide whether you win or, or lose. Okay, now we need to put our armies apart again. Right quick. Before they kill each other through attrition. And we'll just keep them like we planned before. So something like that won't hurt us again. And the sieges down here are slowly working out. Go do this. Check that at least one army has a siege commander in place. Focus lacking kids. Okay. Let's go for this. He has a lot of traits on that. That's okay. And there's still a bit away, two years until we can change this. And I think I'm going to go for seduction. Want to just seduce everyone. Have lots and lots of kids everywhere. Do we go with family? I, I'm not so sure. I think I tend to go more towards family. Oh no, we don't have enough troops. Don't have enough troops to siege this. What is this? This is a huge garrison for a mosque. What? Okay, can we siege this? Uh, barely. Probably not even. We'll have to try. If not, we need to go north. Can't take this either. Let's see. Ah, we might be more capable here. Might have better luck there. Oh, look at that. Next attack. We will finish this siege first. 
And now we go support our troops. And we should again win this because they have a huge negative modifier crossing a river there. And this is why you keep your armies close. So you can immediately support each other. And there we go. We won our war. So let's check what we get from this. We get 200 prestige. We lose 10 decadence. Okay. Don't have any. So that's not really important. And they are now our beloved vassal. Well, not really vassal, but... They are now our tributary. Check this real quick. 19% of income goes to us. They don't earn a lot. Do I have to pay the missing balance though? Let's see what we get. Tribute. Not even calculated into this right now. There we go. 77 gold. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right. There we went, and we established a tributary state of an empire as a mere kingdom. And next we will look towards Egypt again, and of course the Abbasid. Bit of a thrashing, and we might want to establish a few tributary states down here still. Alright. Let's check one more thing, because I never actually paid this much attention. I don't think it's being told here. Because I'm a little bit confused on what that exactly means. 15% of the reinforcements goes to me. What does that mean? Alright. Tributary can call other tributaries into war against their suzerain. Oh, I've never seen that one. That's a good important information tab. So you don't want to build up too many tributaries so they don't uh, help each other <laughs> in overthrowing you again. That's a good information. So we'll leave it at that because he's pretty strong. No more tributaries for us. Alright. 